Hi guys, how are you? As you can see, today I'm doing a video in English. <laughs> um, it's an over voice, so I can at least write it down before saying it. I'm so nervous, but there's just one way to get better at this, and it's by doing it, so please hang there for me. First of all, I want to say that this look was made with some products that Big Bang Beauty sent to me. Of course, I'll leave their link in the description. It's super affordable and I love the performance of them. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, I started off with my foundation. I'm using the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Snow. Yes, Snow. <laughs> you heard it. And to apply it, I will use this brush here, that is from Big Bang Beauty. So they sent me this beautiful kit of brushes that I will be using and showing to you guys all over the video. I applied the amount I wanted on my forehead and then I distributed it all over my face with the brush. Then I used a beauty sponge to press the product into my skin. Next I'm going to conceal. I'm going to use the number one shape tape concealer from Tarte Cosmetics in the shade Fair. I'll apply it directly from the bottle. I put it on my under eyes, forehead, the center of my nose, and in the sides of my nose because my foundation never stays there, it always fades, I don't know why. Then I'm taking the brush I showed you before from Big Bang Beauty and I will use it to blend those concealer edges into my foundation. Now I'm taking this other brush from the kit. This one was for my favorites. I'll take my Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette from Urban Decay and I'll take the darker cream shade to do my contouring. I'll apply it under my cheekbones, blending it with the brush, then under my jawline to define it a bit, and a bit on my forehead just to bring it all together and don't look so pale. Then I'm passing to the NYX Mineral Matte Finish Powder. I'll use the Beauty Sponge to buff this in. I want to bake a bit on those places that my makeup never endures, because I need this look to stay for a while. Now I'm taking this brush and again the cream contour shade to define my nose. I will do two vertical lines to make it look thinner and snatched. And then I will blend it with this same brush. Now I'm passing to this little angled brush. I'll take this one to define my brows. For that I'm using as always my Smashbox Shape Matters palette and the shade Soft Brown. And to make it more precise and creamy, I'll dunk the brush in water before applying the eyeshadow to it. And then I will just fill in the natural shape of my brows. Now, with this big, fluffy, gorgeous brush, I'm going to brush out the excess of powder that we have. And with this same brush and the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix powder, I'll set all my face. I'm doing this in a tapping motion so that we don't mess up all the contouring and hard work we already made, please. So now I'm passing to other product from Beauty Big Bang. This is a face palette. The shade is the number three. You can see it has a contouring shade, blush, and highlight. I start off with the blush and another of the brushes. The blush has this pretty like peachy tone and it's very buildable. So you can take it from something very natural, putting just a little bit, to a really pigmented blush, like of course I did. And as always, I applied it to the tip to my nose too. I don't know why, I just love that. Now I'm passing to the contour shade to accentuate it even a little bit more. I mean my contouring and the face features. This was super pigmented, I was shook. It was very easy to blend and I love the warm tone it has to it without looking like a bronzer or that like grayish contouring shades. Now I'm passing to the highlight. This one was really surprising. It was super pigmented and pearled, really gorgeous. As always, I'll apply it on my cheekbones, inner eye corner, the bridge of my nose, over the lip and a bit on my brow bone. Now we'll set this base with the All Nighter from Urban Decay. Remember that I will list all the links of these products too, not only the big ones ones, and that if you use those links to purchase them, then you would be helping me out, which of course I would really appreciate guys. Then I'm taking my Modern Renaissance, blah, 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 that word I'm never going to get it right, palette <laughs> from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
I'm taking this shade here, Tempera, to set all my lid to its, so that it's easier to blend the other shadows over it afterwards. Then I'm taking this shade over here, it's kind of a clear mustard tone, and I will use it as a transition tone, placing it all over the crease, the outer corner, and all over the lid too. I'll use a fluffy brush so that I can really blend it and make it look smoky. And with this same brush, I'll apply it under my eyes too. I'll use this same brush, even though it's big, so that, it get a, so that I get a really smoky look. Plus, it makes the eyes look bigger. Then, I'm taking this shade over here. I believe it's called Burnt Orange. And I'm using the same brush. I will place this on the crease and the outer corner to define the eyes a bit more and give them dimension. I will put it on the lower lash line too, but this time a little bit tighter to the water line and not as smoky as the lighter tone we used before. Now we are taking this warm darky pink shade over here and a smaller brush. We'll place this tone in the outer corner of the eyes to give them dimension, creating like a triangle so that they look more feline and sexy. And then we'll put this shade on the under eye lash line too. Then I'm passing to the Stila Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Diamond Dust, which is basically glitter without a real tone on it. So it's just like, yeah, glitter. So it will show through the color that we already used beneath it. And I'm, I'm kind of putting it like a cut crease, a half cut crease, but in a more messy way. And a bit in the inner corners too. I'll set again this with the All Nighter Spray. Like I said, this makeup has to endure for a while. And it did, actually, thankfully. I'll take more of that highlighter and put it on my collarbones since I'm using an off-shoulder top and I want them to pop out. Then I'm taking the eyeliner that Beauty Big Bang kindly sent to me. It looks like this. It's pretty similar to the Kat Von D tattoo liner, to be honest. Even the tip of it. So I went and created a big wing liner starting from the wing to my way in. Then I'll pass to the mascara. I'm using my favorite, Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Then I'll use this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm sorry I forgot to show the packaging to you, but I'm going to list that below for you. And with this last step, the look is finished. I pulled down my hair too, so this is how it looks. I couldn't decide if use my hair up or down. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and check that that bell is on so YouTube actually lets you know whenever I post a new video. I'm thinking on posting every Thursday though, so you can count on it. What do you think? Let me know. Bye guys, see you next one.